Yoo-hoo! I'm over here! Hi, this is Carlson. Thank you so much for letting us come over this oh morning. My I want pleasure. to introduce to you my granddaughters. This is Vanessa. Hi, and this Samantha. is Shara. Hi, how are you? And anyway, we were walking down Main Street this after mm -hmm. this morning and they saw the murals and they loved them. And so I told them the best thing to do is to come get the story from really? you since it was your idea. Oh, well, how nice. <laughs> well, did you like them? Yes. Good. Good. Which ones did you see? We just saw the first one. We uh -huh. thought what I wanted to do was to get your story. Tell the girls how it was your idea. Hmm. Well, it was back what, 15 years ago or so. <clears throat> and um, things were going very well in Santa Paula, and a lot of people were grumbling about it. And I thought, you know, this is ridiculous. What to always talk about the bad things. Let's emphasize the good things about Santa Paula. Okay. And we had just been on a trip with my brother and his sailboat up in the San Juan Islands. And um, we happened upon this little town of Chimenez. And it had all these beautiful murals. And as you walk through the little town, you kept seeing different murals. And, and it was just intriguing. And I thought to myself, we've got just as col colorful a history as this place does. We can do one ourselves. And so the more I thought about it, the more I just couldn't get it out of my mind. Okay. You know how those things yes. go. But were you overwhelmed with the idea? Or did you ever feel like you couldn't do it? No. <laughs> Good for you. I, it, it captivated me, though. I couldn't get it out of my mind. And uh, so I, we got together a group of kind of, I guess you'd say, outstanding Santa Paulans and thought, well, let's take them up to Shimanus and see what their reaction is. And if their reaction is positive, I think the rest of the town would be. Okay. So we asked your mom and dad, right. Celia and Tony Diaz, and the mayor of, ta of the town and several of the business people. And uh, we all went up together and uh, stayed overnight a couple of nights and three days. This is in British Just Columbia? In British Columbia, yeah. And uh, on a little island, uh, well, it's not such a little island. It's an island. What's the name of that island? Can't remember it. But at any rate, the little town of Chimenez on that island okay. uh, had gone through bad times. And uh, they had been a lumber company, a very active lumber town. So <clears throat> they had decided that after the mill closed, <clears throat> they were having some difficulties. So the uh, one man in town, Carl Schultz, had the idea of developing a mural program. He'd lived in Europe, so he was familiar with the role of public art. Okay. Yeah, and so... Uh, Did you bring him down here? No, we went up there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so when you came down, though, you were going to do the whole mural project in Santa Paula because everybody was excited when they got yeah, back. Yeah, right. So what was your next step? What did you do? I mean, you hadn't had any experience doing this. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely right. <laughs> well, first of all, <clears throat> you plagiarize like I'll get out. <laughs> uh, you call every little town that you know that has murals in it, and you ask them how they went about it. Oh, good for you. Okay. And uh, I didn't want to reinvent the wheel. So. Right. So then you had the so then, committee. We, then we developed this, well, the committee were largely the people who had gone with us up to uh, visit in Chimenez. And uh, <clears throat> fortunately, they all had certain talents. And uh, so we, divided, we decided, because they all agreed that we wanted to come on. They agreed with this on the boat coming home from uh, the island of Chimenez. And so... <laughs> So as we came back, we were discussing who was going to do something about this, and they decided I was the only one that was retired. <laughs> so they nominated me. You to were do the it. executive, oh, well, actually, yeah, <laughs> the CEO of the, yeah, of the mural right, committee. Yeah, right, of the murals. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so as I say, I, I contacted quite a few towns and learned what they did, and I just proceeded that way. And fortunately, as I say, there were some really helpful people on that committee. And um, they decided that we should put out some, uh, see, what is it, call for submissions or something like that, 
where you ask artists in, throughout the country, this could go into art papers throughout the country, to submit, submit applica applications. And, uh, for the artist for the mural? Yes, for okay. the artist. We described what the mural was going to be and so forth. And we got quite a few back. And uh, so that was John Nichols' role. Okay. He had his, uh, his shop on Main Street then. And uh, so we, all the mural committee members, especially those who were artists, because on the committee I had several people who were artists, and um, Gail Pittick for one. Right. Um, at any rate, they... Um, they selected the artists? They selected the artists, and uh, basically it was on the basis of what the object of the mural was going to be, the and subject. How did, how did you select what pictures you were going to put up there, what the mural was going <laughs> to be all about? Well, that's a good question. Actually, what I did was to divide the, the committee up into about uh, four subcommittees. So one of them chose the uh, subjects, and they were his. They had historians in, in okay. the community, and so they had some good ideas about that. And another committee was the artist selection committee, and there were several artists that served on that. And then there was a publications community committee to handle how we would publicize the murals, but also how we'd raise funds. Like the marketing. Oh, your oh, funds. Oh, yes, the funds, oh, yes, gosh. yes. Well, I know I'd heard that this particular mural cost around $20,000. That's right. So did you get the money from the city, or did you get no, it? No, we didn't no. get any. We, we never intended to ask for any money from the city. Santa Paul was not known for its wealth, <laughs> and uh, so that we didn't think that was appropriate. But the members of the committee, many of them, made significant donations. And then we wrote letters out to the community. Nice. I got various mailing lists and mailed the, mailed the letters. And um, money just came in. Nice. Just very nicely very came nice. in. That people liked the idea. So they, you know, they, they felt they wanted to support it. And so that there's was, nine murals to date, and mm -hmm. you still haven't ever had any money from the city. the city. No, it's no, all been no, from no. donations. All been from donations. Nice. Yeah, and the other thing is that uh, we put a coating on each of the murals that would protect the mural from ultraviolet light. Right. But also from graffiti. Uh, oh. We haven't had any so graffiti right. on the murals, right. and I think it's a great anti-graffiti program. Well, it's <laughs> beautiful. The yeah. beautiful mural yeah. murals. So you've had you didn't have any money from the city, which is wonderful. No. They're all donations. You had we had Art Mortimer was the very first artist that was yes. collected, and he he was a wonderful artist to have for the first artist. Good. I don't know if you noticed when he was doing it, but he. Uh, he would sit down across the street, sit down on the, on the sidewalk, and ponder the mural. And then he would see something that he wanted to change. So he'd get up and walk across. Oh but he was so available. Do you remember how long that first mural took oh my. to paint? I'd say at least a month, Okay. maybe more. But you know, we have a little guest house. So each and of the stayed artists there. stayed in the guest house. Nice. And that cut down on the, the cost, cost a lot. Yeah. That sure yeah. Well, it was fun for us, too, because we got to know them. Yeah. yeah. Well, very nice. Mm -hmm. Well, great. So you have any other plans of doing any more murals? Yes, we're hoping. <coughs> because there's nine right now, so that seems like a lot already. Yes, but we did intend to do ten. <coughs> and uh, the next one will be around this project that the city is talking about, the courtyard. Yes. Have you heard of it? Yes, I have. Uh, between the two museums? Yes. Okay, so you plan on doing it there? Yes, we do. Okay. and uh, <clears throat> All within walking distance? All, all within walking distance. Within that area, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, it, the subject matter for that had been the subject of water and the role water has played in this community and the whole valley. But I'm not sure that's going to remain the, okay. the topic, so we'll see how as we go along. Well, when it comes time, maybe the same committee can meet one more time? And yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I'm sure. In fact, I need to call a meeting of the committee just to let them know what the state of right. things are. Because so. it's been a while since the last one. Yes, it has. So I'm, you have the murals all over the city, but what was the criteria for selecting 
the, the, the walls, the, the buildings. Did you have to buy the, the building or pay? No. Um, well, it's not easy to get a, a building owner to let you use their walls. Oh, you'd think it would, <clears throat> they'd be honored. Well, you'd think so. And I think eventually <laughs> it did get to be that way. Okay. But at first, you know, we had, well, so what we drew up was a contract um, by law that we would maintain the murals and that if at any point they wanted them removed, we would remove them. Oh, wow. So in other words, in order for them to buy into the idea of having a wall, a mural painted on their walls, we had to offer them an, an option so that they could. So that's yeah. the way it worked. Well, but you know, you learn all these things yes. as you go along. You well, just I'm so you inspired know. by you because it was your your idea. Yeah. You brought uh -huh. it to life. And here we are. Here we are. Yeah, yeah. this is great. Fifteen years later. Fifteen years later. So you girls yeah, are you guys are going to be do. needing to take care of the murals. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Carlson, thank you so much for oh, your time. Oh, you're so welcome. I, wanted, I want to um, talk to Dr. Carlson if he's here and thank him for letting us. She's over there. Oh, let's, <laughs> can we see Dr. Carlson? Oh, look, he's coming right now. Yeah, there he is. Dr. Carlson, thank you so much for sharing your wife with the city of Santa Paula. <laughs> nice to have you here, Sandy. Well, thank you. Thank you for inviting us over here. And these are your we, two yes, lovely daughters. Yes, these are my beautiful yes. granddaughters, Vanessa Hi. and Shara. Hello. Nice to we meet enjoyed our visit, you. and I thank, I thank you. you so much for all of your work, because I know that you did so much work alongside your wife, although she got some, yes, lots of the did. glory. Well, <laughs> You're a silent partner. I yes, thought okay. of her as, my, as her man Friday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was a little skeptical at the beginning, but uh, after we took the trip up to Chimenez and talked things over with the, the, the committee, the committee. Uh, I became convinced that this was would be a good thing to do for the city, right. with, well, with the city. And, and uh, we sure need it. Yes, and it, the city has been so supportive. We've been able to fund it with uh, all contributions and some lo grants from local businesses. Okay. And... Uh, but we did not have to approach government or taxes in any form. Now, you're speaking as if you know money. Were you the treasurer? I was the uh, treasurer. Well, I was, not the, <laughs> I was originally the assistant treasurer, but then when uh, the, the original treasurer, Steve Volker, moved out of town, then I became the, the, uh, the uh, uh, yeah. chairman of the fin <laughs> finance committee. And, okay, yeah. okay. And then I had a very effective assistant named Roland Rogers, who's also helped me. Well, very nice. So it wasn't one person's job. Well, it sounds like you had a group effort. Yeah, and everybody. It, was a, it right. was a group effort. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for having this group effort. Thank you so much for sharing your home and your time with us. We so appreciate it. We look forward to the next mural coming well, up. Well, we appreciate the work that you're doing, too. <laughs> yeah. with the community. Wonderful to see thank what's you happening. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Oh, Nana, look at that big picture. Yeah, that's called a mural. Hi, Miss. Yes, that's called a mural. You're right. And it's one of nine that are here in Santa Paula. But you know, they wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for the hard work and the idea of one woman. Now, that woman's name is Joyce Carlson. And you know what? I think it'd be a great idea if we called her 
and she could talk to you both and tell you her story. So let's give her a call and see if she's home. <laughs> 